What's going on, traders? Happy Sunday and happy 4th of July for those of you guys celebrating. Zach here with the Trading Network, and I've got another weekly market profile forecast for you guys for both the ES and the NQ futures markets. So uh, before we dig into the weekly market profile, uh, I want to show you guys a little bit on the session profiles for both ES and NQ. And more specifically, I want to show you guys that we are still operating with a gap and a gap to the upside, more specifically, uh, from the July 1st session. So uh, what that means is that when we printed the highs from the July 1st regular trading hour session on ES, that would be at 43.12, and on NQ, that would be at 14,570. Uh, when we printed those highs, we moved up in that following overnight session and never came back down to touch the highs from that session. So we essentially have a gap between the highs from the July 1st regular trading hour session and the lows from the next session, next regular trading hour session to be precise, from July 2nd. So essentially what that means is there is a gap and go in play and there has been a gap and go in play for multiple sessions, which is pretty rare to be honest. So with that said, typically when we have that gap and go, as you guys may know, if you've been watching my trade plans or reading my trade plans and watching my recaps rather, uh, it's very often that we get priced, come back down and close that gap in a uh, forthcoming session. So uh, what I am looking for on ES and NQ or what I'm looking at is this gap close level. So on NQ, technically right here, at the time that I'm recording this video, we have a 139 point gap to the upside. And if I go to the session profile on ES, we have current price, a 25 and three quarter point gap to the upside. So in order to close that gap from current price, uh, we will need to come a ways down. So what I will be looking at, and because we have a half day tomorrow, uh, the session is opening obviously at normal time tonight, and it is closing at 12 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, um, there's not gonna be a lot of volume. You can see we only have an eight point session on ES and a 16 point session on NQ so far. So uh, with that said, I am not necessarily uh, looking for that gap close tomorrow. It could happen, but because there will be less players in the market and less volume overall because of the holiday and because of the half day, um, let's say that I think there's a higher probability that that gap close will happen maybe on Tuesday or a bit later in the week. So uh, moving on over into the weekly profiles, uh, we can essentially kind of mark off some line in the sand levels for our weekly. And to be honest, we're probably going to use the session profiles to get those levels because we've just been moving up the last two weeks, right? So if you look at the weekly profiles here, um, you know, the major line in the sand right here, you can see we have the monthly volume point of control from uh, the, it's actually lining up with the uh, POC on the TPO here at 14,550 from last week. So last week's POC from the profile is lining up uh, pretty close to the monthly volume point of control. So this would be a major line in the sand. And, you know, I'll mark this level off too, but I really like to drill down into the session profiles when we are kind of in blue sky breakout territory. So let's look at some line in the sand levels for tomorrow and moving forward into the week. So I would really be looking at these prior highs, right, from last week. So 584, 14,606, 619. This is a really important area for me to see hold because if we don't hold this level right here, we've got a naked POC down here at 14,534. And if I continue to zoom out, I mean, we have a lot of uh, unfinished business, call it down below here with these naked point of controls because these are POCs that have not been retouched since they were created in this session. So once, you know, 14,211 was created as a POC, we never moved back down, not even in the next session, didn't touch that. Next POC, 14,271 didn't touch that. And, you know, these were created for what it's worth June 22nd for that 14 uh, to 11. And this was the following session, June 23rd for the 14 to 71 naked POC right there. Now with all of those things in mind, we must keep another thing in mind. We are in an uptrend and trend is friend. So until the trend breaks, I will be looking for upside continuation.
right? We can go over to uh, the regular chart here just for a bit and give you guys an idea. I mean, it's really, really clear here. And you can see we, we're kind of breaking structure, to be fair, uh, on ES a little bit. But overall uptrend, if we go over to the NQ thousand tick chart, zoom out a little bit, very, very clear. I can do something like this, get rid of those oscillators briefly. And I mean, trend is definitely friends still on NQ, right? So even this thousand tick candle, obviously not the prettiest candlestick structure here, but you can't really expect much off the open, especially going, especially on a holiday going into a half day. So I will be looking at uh, a line in the sand level moving into the beginning of the week as the prior high, the gap close right here at uh, 43.12 on ES. So if we break, uh, so if you want in a more immediate level, look for the overnight high. If we break below the overnight high of 43.25, I'd be looking for that gap close. If we can't hold 43.12 when we close that gap, look at all these naked POCs on ES. So look at 4,300, 4,284, and 42.69. And we also have one down here at 42.56. So uh, we, you can see that we have just like a staircase of naked POCs. We've been trending up significantly. And again, we want to follow the trend until it breaks, but use your market generated information to your advantage to tell you that the trend is breaking. And when, you know, value moves lower, right? So just to be 100% clear here, this is Friday's value, right? 14,636 to call it 14,700. If this moves lower, right? If the value area from tomorrow and Tuesday continues to move lower, that means that larger players are finding this price as overvalued or the instrument overvalued at this price might be a better way to understand it. So if that happens, that is going to shift the probability meter for me, if you will. And that is going to have me looking for a move down to that 14,534 level. But until you know we start to lose value or value starts to move lower, I'm not really going to shift much and I am just going to play the trend until it breaks. Uh, now, because we have a half day, I am not going to trade tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to take advantage of you know the half day and get some other stuff done, some trading review and you know sharpen my edge in a few other ways. Uh, and also, I guess I'll show you guys this since I have it right in front of me. I just bought this thing called the EM Wave Pro, and this is a biometric sensor. And this is going to be able to uh, monitor my heart rate, my pulse, and my heart rhythm, and a few other things. And it can give you something called a coherent score. And basically what this does is it's a mindfulness tool. So you can use it while you're trading. You can use it before you're trading to make sure that you're in the zone, if you will, before you begin trading. Um, but for the folks in my private Discord, I'm going to be uh, clipping this thing to my earlobe, and uh, I will be streaming my biometrics so folks can see... Uh, you know, the difference between what it's like for me to enter a trade and what my biometrics do. You know, does my heart rate increase when I enter a trade? If I'm trading poorly on a certain day, are my biometrics off? Things like that. And, you know, if you guys can do something as simple as look at your Apple Watch, right? If you have one of those or a Fitbit or something, and you can watch your heart rate and monitor your biometrics. If you guys want to see something interesting, look at your heart rate before you enter a trade, enter a trade, and then look at your heart rate after you have been in that trade. And very, very often you will see that your heart rate increases significantly, almost doubles sometimes. My heart rate used to double after I entered a trade, right? My resting heart rate's like 60 or 70, and sometimes it would increase to like, you know, 120 to 130, which is pretty wild. So I don't want to get on too much of a tangent, but if you guys, you know, want to uh, keep an eye on something else that can be pretty interesting, that can also give you edge or increase your edge, monitor your biometrics. Uh, I'll be posting more information on the uh, EM Wave Pro and giving you guys some feedback on how I like it. Um, but again, I'm going to be streaming it in the private Discord for those of you guys in my chat. And I also post a little breakdown of the software on our Instagram. So check that out. So uh, aside from that, you know, things are, are pretty simple. Um, we are going to basically just be looking at these line in the sand levels. I'm um, looking at uh, Friday's low, which also lines up with the highs from June 29th, overnight session from June 30th, the regular trading hour session from June 30th, overnight from July 1st, and then the regular trading hours high from July 1st at 14,570, which again is that gap close level. So um, watch for the gap close level. If we do not close the gap, then, you know, just 
allow the trend to be your friend. Now on ES, once again, if I zoom in here, the gap close level on ES is 4,312. That is the high from the July 1st regular trading hour session. Uh, and more immediately, look for that 4,325 level to break for the downside. And that to me would open up the move for that gap close and possibly even into these naked POCs. Uh, unless we break down to those levels, uh, allow the trend to be your friend, keep it simple, allow this market profile information to you know, be used to your advantage. And I hope this is beneficial to you guys that are preparing for another trading week, getting ready, structuring a plan and preparing to trade that plan. As always, I want to thank you guys immensely for taking the time to watch this content that I create. Uh, if you do like what you see, please feel free to like and subscribe down below. If you want to learn more about what we do here at The Trading Network, please feel free to check out the links in the description below as well, where you can find a link to my free Facebook group where I release trade plans every day, Monday through Friday at 9.30 a.m. Eastern, for, based on market profile for the ES and NQ futures markets. In addition to the free Facebook group, you can also find our website down below, thetradingnetwork.io, where you can learn more about one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me. I offer four-week programs, 10-week programs, and a few other varying lengths. You can also learn more about the Trading Network proprietary indicator package, which we have shown a little bit in this video. In addition to the indicator package, you can learn more about joining our private Discord, where you can watch me trade live every day, Monday through Friday, from 9.30 a.m. to roughly about 12.30, 1 p.m. Eastern time every day. Uh, I usually stick around on stream and hang out and answer questions as well. And this is a two-way Discord stream. So the members of our private community can turn their mic on. They can ask me questions live in real time while I'm trading and, of course, after the session. Uh, last but not least, you guys can also purchase access to the Fundamentals of Futures Trading course, which is my comprehensive course that discusses multiple trading strategies for varying market conditions. In addition to trading psychology strategies, uh, we go over technical analysis and uh, various indicators. And you can also get access to all of the products that I mentioned previously, the indicator package, the Discord, and the Fundamentals of Futures Trading course, all in a bundle even on a payment plan to make it a bit easier on your wallet as well. So if you guys have any questions about anything that I have mentioned in this video analysis wise or about any of the products that I've mentioned, uh, do not hesitate to leave a comment down below. Do not hesitate to hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, Discord, shoot us an email at info at the trading network.io and I will get back to you as soon as you possibly can and help any way that I can. Thank you guys again for taking the time to watch this content. I greatly appreciate you and I will see you in the next video. Trade safe. Oh,